So in this video, I will be giving a brief tour of my soap baking studio and where I store all my ingredients. Also, I will um, show you all the soaps that I've made so far. Here is where I make the soaps, where I mix the batter and all that kind of stuff. The stainless steel table is a new addition. My dad recently added it, not for me specifically, but I really do appreciate it still. I actually use silicone baking molds to make my soaps because they release quite easily. I wear safety goggles because lye and fresh soap is very corrosive and dangerous. And those are my mixing tools and I always keep a roll of paper towels on hand. Here is a recent batch of soap cookies that I made. It is scented with a floral blend of jasmine, magnolia, and chrysanthemum. I use lab colors to color it and I infuse the oils with calendula that I grew myself. It is topped with um, Himalayan pink salt to add a bit of sparkle and sheen. Here is another batch of floral scented soap that I made. I poured it into a bundt cake mold and I think it looks pretty cute with all the swirls. Here are my peaches and cream soap cupcakes. Topped it with a really cute peach in bed and used the calendula petals to color the soap as well. Here's my first batch of soap cupcakes that I ever made and it is a vanilla peppermint scented soap that is made with goat's milk. And those are just the leftover peppermint frosting from the soap cupcakes. So moving on to my shampoo bar. Um, this bar is made with argan oil and rosemary essential oil, which is super nourishing for the hair. The coloring was inspired by blondes, brunettes, and redheads, but I'm not too sure if that really worked out. The swirls turned out very well though. Moving on, this is my first ever floral scented bar. I use these really cute daisy embeds and I infused it with my homegrown calendula petals. Moving on, this is my first successful bar of soap that I've made and I scented it with mango, papaya, and pineapple fragrance oil. The colorants were just um, pink ultramarine as well as yellow and red oxide. This was actually a saved bar. It started rising and seizing on me, but the scent still is very nice and lovely. It's white tea and ginger, and it actually turned out pretty good looking as well. This one is by far one of my favorites that I made. It is a Halloween inspired bar. I used the fragrance oil pumpkin patch, but I think I'll call it something else like Spook in the Night. And the colorants were black oxide and red brick oxide as well as yellow oxide. A little bit of sparkles on top. Last but not least, here is my shaving bar and I use kaolin clay for slip for ease of shaving. As well, there are swirls of seaweed powder for a nourishing element to the skin and topped it with a really cute starfish in bed. Right, so where I store all my ingredients for my cold process soaps is actually in our laundry room. We have these unused uh, cabinets and I thought that's the perfect place to put them because um, the door to the garage is right there. So I thought it would be the most convenient, easy way to set up my soap making stations. So here is where I store all my essential and fragrant oils, as well as my pigments and I think a bottle of glycerin. I also have a few fine carrier oils, including sweet almond. At the back over there, I have some blocks of glycerin in clear and in white for making my soap embeds. Above here, I have some jars of cacao butter and shea butter. Beside, I have um, my soy wax candle, um, candle wax, and my tins of coconut oil that I use. Above, I have my used up bottles of essential and fragrant oils as well as my stock of lab colors and two random cans of spray paint as well as a used up bottle of hobo oil. Moving on to the other cabinet, I have all my facial clays as well as a seaweed powder. I carry kaolin clay, rasool, um, molten and some colloidal oatmeal. 
Above, I have a jar of ascorbic acid as well as some citric acid for bath bomb making and some random boxes of tissue, as you can see up there. Um, if you're wondering, I buy all my supplies from New Directions Aromatics. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like my videos. Bye.